Finally, Pavel's going to use Amazon S3 storage. And he's going to show you how to use the cloud API to do cloud-based development, which will allow you to integrate cloud-based functionality into an enterprise application that you're building. Go ahead, Pavel. I'm going to use RAT Studio to build a multi-device application that will store data in Amazon Cloud. Before we can start with building the application, we need to configure the Amazon Simple Storage Service. Let's jump to a web browser. And in a web browser, first of all, I need to make sure that I have Amazon Web Services account created. I'm not going to go through the steps of creating the account right now. There is something called F Amazon Web Services Free Tire where you can create your account and for the first year you can try certain services for free. After you have created your Amazon Web Services account, you can log in into the management console and you have an access point to all different Amazon Web Services. We are going to specifically uh, go into the simple storage uh, service area and what we are going to do here, we want to create a bucket where we are going to store our Delphi, uh, or our uh, data from our RAD Studio application. So buckets is a concept uh, from a simple storage service. This is how um, Amazon Simple Storage Service organizes its data. A user can have uh, up to 100 buckets, but within a bucket you can create uh, upload as much uh, data uh, as you like. We are going to give the name to the bucket. It has to be a lower case with no uh, spaces or any special characters. So RAT Studio Test 1 will be the name of our bucket. And I'm going to select US standard as a region uh, to create this bucket. This is very important to make sure this is a US standard and not other bucket. OK, click on Create and I have uh, created a new bucket. So before I can start putting data into this uh, bucket, I need to make sure I have proper access rights. For this, I want to jump into the another uh, Amazon Web Services service called uh, Identity and Access Management. And I want to create a dedicated user uh, that I'm going to grant uh, rights to access this new bucket. So I'm going to create a new user. I'm going to give it a name RAT Studio Test 1 User. And the option to generate access key is already checked. So when I click on Create, I have an opportunity, a uh, one time opportunity to either view the credentials uh, of my user or I can download a CSV a file uh, with those credentials. This is very important to use these credentials. I need to copy these credentials to, uh, to uh, in my case, notebook. So I want to open the right, the right thing here, oh, like this. And I'm going to put my credentials here. Okay, so that's uh, I'm going to need it uh, during the development uh, of my uh, application. Okay, so I'm going to close this. Now I have created a RAT Studio test user. Uh, when I click on this uh, user, uh, I see there are no uh, policies attached to this user. So this user does not have any rights right now. I'm going to open the inline policies option and click here to uh, generate a new uh, policy. So there is a useful policy generator option uh, so I can select it and I can uh, specify which policy I want to create. So which service? So this is going to be Amazon S3 service. What actions? All actions. And I need to specify the Amazon resource name of my uh, bucket. So I can jump to the documentation and in the documentation there is a information how to specify the my sample AWARN for my bucket. So I'm going to copy this uh, syntax and put it uh, in my Amazon resource name. But instead of example bucket, I'm going to specify my RAT 
studio one uh, rad studio test one bucket i can click on add statement and uh, go to the next step and uh, the policy is just a plain as json file i can use a validate policy option to find out that my policy is valid and click on apply policy so right now i have created a simple storage service bucket on amazon cloud and created user uh, with credentials that i have uh, secured and this user has just rights to uh, perform different operations of my newly created rat studio test one bucket now it's time to jump to rat studio to create an application to put and retrieve data from this bucket we can create either a c++ or delphi multi-device application to work with our amazon simple storage service this time i'm going to go for a new multi-device application delphi i'm going to go for a blank application template and i need to save my uh, application uh, in a new folder i'm going to create a folder called uh, s3 test delphi okay so i'm going to keep the unit name as the name of the main form and the project will be s3 delphi and that's fine okay so that's my uh, project so the very first thing i need to do is to put an amazon connection info on the form in the cloud category in a tool palette there are two components t azure connection info for working with microsoft azure cloud and amazon connection info i need to double click on amazon connection info to put it to the form in a production code i would probably put this amazon connection info on a dedicated data module but for a simplicity i'm going to keep it on the main form now i can go into my um, credentials that i have uh, just uh, copied i'm going to copy the access key id and paste it into the account name property of my amazon connection info and i'm going to do the same operation uh, with the uh, key so this is my secret key i'm going to copy the key here and put it into the other property of amazon connection info okay that's uh, the first step so this application is going to be very simple i'm going to put just a t edit component on the uh, form and i'm going to upload the contents of the edit to the my new s3 bucket and uh, also download uh, this content uh, from the bucket and display it in a message box i'm going to put some arbitrary string into a text property of my edit for example hello from rat studio and amazon cloud so that's the string i'm going to store inside of the cloud so i'm going to put two buttons on the form one button for uh, uploading this string to the uh, to the cloud so i'm going to put an upload text and change the name of this button to button upload and the second i'm going to put another button for doing the opposite operation so i'm going to do an button download and change the text property to be download okay so if i double click on a button uh, i can start uh, writing code so notice that after adding this uh, component uh, amazon connection component to the form these two uh, files these two units has been added to the users clause if i jump to the amazon api i see there are different types here so specifically i want to work with amazon storage service so this is a class i need to instantiate in my application code to have access to this to the functionality of amazon storage uh, service so there are many different uh, methods and uh, properties but specifically i need to make a call a constructor create and the constructor accepts the connection info 
that we have already on the form. And then we can call uh, different methods. We can uh, manipulate buckets, but that's something we cannot do because of our limited privileges. But we can get object and upload object. So there is plenty of functionality here. Okay, so let's insta uh, def define an S3 uh, object, the Amazon storage storage service okay so i'm going to instantiate this class dot create and pass here this amazon connection info that i have already on the form and after you have created something you need to make sure it is properly freed okay so this s3 uh, class has a method called upload object. So this method uh, accepts a bucket name. So in our case, that's going to be Rad Studio Test One. The object name, so any name to identify our object, and the content, which is just a array of bytes. So I'm going to do this upload object, and for the bucket name, I'm going to define a constants, two constants, in fact bucket bucket uh, name and this is our rad studio test then rad studio test uh, one <laughs> rad studio test one okay and our object name will be test object test object one that's fine okay so now we can start putting here a bucket name bucket name and the object name is fine but now I need to have a way to convert the text from the edit to just an array of bytes so I'm going for this I'm going to use a t string stream class that has all the functionality that I have I can create an instance of this class and pass an arbitrary string and it has a bytes property that I can use to uh, access this as just a plain uh, array of bytes. So edit one dot text. And now in a third parameter, I can just do string string stream bytes. And this is the uh, param the property with a right uh, right uh, signature. Okay, so. I want to see if that was actually successful. So if everything went OK, I'm going to show message OK. And if it was not OK, then I'm going to show a different message like upload failed. Upload failed. OK, so let's test uh, our application. So click on run and I'm going to click on upload and I got an information OK, so it was uploaded OK. I can in fact verify uh, in my uh, directly uh, in my um, AWS uh, service, uh, so simple storage service, if I now jump into my RAD Studio test bucket, I should see my test object has been just uh, created. OK, so the second thing to do is to actually uh, um, perform the opposite operation to download, uh, to programmatically download uh, this uh, file. So I'm going to copy um, this code to create a, a Amazon storage service reference and a, a simple uh, and a string stream uh, reference. But this time, uh, I'm not going to. I'm going just to instantiate this st string stream with no uh, parameter. And uh, this time I'm going to call get object. So this is a similar method that takes an, a bucket name, object name, and it also takes the object stream. So I can pass the string stream that is a descendant of a T stream as a, a third a parameter. So I want to do an get object and everything is okay. I need to remove these bytes from here. So if I have downloaded uh, this OK, I'm going to display the contents of this stream 
so there is a something called data string or display a message that download failed okay so in fact I have not added code to properly free the string stream so that something needs to be added to both methods let's run this application and if I click on download I see hello from Rad Studio and Amazon Cloud a string downloaded from Amazon Simple Storage Service. Thanks for that great presentation, Pavel. You can also use the Cloud API with Azure Storage as part of your enterprise application.